Japan has a culture that's always fascinated the rest of the world. We've all heard about this country's unique mix of tradition and futurism. But I was surprised to find out that sumo is not the most popular sport there, and it takes mad skill to prepare a river pig. Oh yeah, and bathing is done a little differently than you might be used to. In Japanese culture, the main cleaning routine is done at night in several steps. Follow closely, please. First, run a hot bath and hop in the shower. You just need to lightly wash any sweat or dust off your body. Make sure you're totally rinsed and… Next, have a soak in that bath, just long enough to open your pores. You might add some Epsom salt and some other skin-nourishing ingredients. Kind of like brining a turkey for Thanksgiving. And anyone with long hair? Make sure it doesn't touch the bath water. Pull it up in a high bun if you need to. Then climb out of the bath and let any ingredients you added soak into the water. Time to head back to the shower for another rinse. This second rinse isn't always done, but it'll remove any more stubborn grime. Since the room is probably steamy by now, your body temperature will be up, and this will open the pores even more. It also gets the metabolism going. Now you're ready to double dip and have a long, luxurious soak in that bath. Make sure the water is still hot. Well, I guess you don't have to worry about that if you're using a Japanese tub. They have a built-in heater so that the water stays hot. In Japan, bathing is more for relaxation. And it goes beyond just the body. It cleanses the soul, too. Rooted in the belief system of Shintoism, a hot evening bath washes the stress of the day away. Plus, your skin is getting the benefits of those extra ingredients you added. If you've ever been to Japan, you'll know that public bathing is very popular, too. There are public bathhouses called sentos in nearly every town. Because of their location, the Japanese can enjoy bathing in hot springs as well. Those are known as onsens. In earlier times, many Japanese houses didn't have bathtubs or a heating system for the water or home. So public bathing became the solution. Now it's more of a cultural tradition. A sento or onsen is usually part of an inn that has pools and showers and is stocked with soap and shampoo. People can socialize and relax after a long day at work. Hey, sign me up! Now, it should come as no surprise that the private Japanese bathroom is an oasis. The tub is deeper than what we see in the West, so that the water reaches you all the way to your chin. Hence why you need to pull your hair up so it doesn't touch the water. It's traditionally made of cypress wood, which will smell amazing once the tub is filled with hot water and the room is steaming. Okay, once you're done poaching in there, it's also good to know that the toilet is in a separate room than the bathtub. That way, the bath is all about cleanliness. There are even special slippers to wear only in the room with the toilet. Since we're on the subject of Japanese evening routine, let's talk about dinner and some other cool facts about the land of the rising sun. If you've ever been invited to a traditional dinner in Japan, always wait to be told where to sit. There will be a guest of honor which is always the oldest person in the group. They'll be seated in the center of the table. Try a bit of everything on your plate using your chopsticks. Chopsticks come with their own set of rules, but remember never to cross them or use them to point. Also, don't rub them together to get rid of any wood shavings. They don't do that in Japan. In Japan, slurping your soup or noodles is like saying, this is delicious, and my compliments to the chef. So if you visit, go ahead and slurp away. Many parts of Japan are quite crowded, so their homes and lawns have to be small. One Japanese expression says that their gardens are so small that they'll fit on a cat's forehead. In Japan, you can get your license for a motor scooter or similar small road vehicle starting at age 16. But you must wait until you're 18 to get your license to drive a car. That came as a surprise to me as an American, but maybe there are other countries like that. What's the minimum driving age in your part of the world? Let me know down in the comments. Japan is known for its beautiful tea ceremonies and that delicious matcha. But this might surprise you. Japan drinks about 85% of the coffee that Jamaica exports. 
Coffee is everywhere, from the big brands we all know to small family-owned coffee shops. But coffee shops in Japan aren't big social centers or impromptu offices. It's in and out. Well, that's how I like my morning coffee run as well. Here's one for sports fans. Even though sumo wrestling is the national sport, baseball tops the list of the most popular. It's a lot like the American version, but some technical things are a little different. The field, the strike zone, and the ball itself are smaller in Japan. If you're interested, soccer follows baseball in popularity, then golf, tennis, and sumo in fourth place. Go to this wondrous country and you might see Pikachu on a plane. Japan's largest airline, All Nippon Airways, has painted Pikachu and other Pokémon on the sides of their airplanes, making them fun and colorful. Now, I'm sure you know you have Japan to thank for giving us karaoke. But have you ever wondered what the word means? It translates as empty orchestra. So you better fine-tune your singing skills. I'm also glad we decided to just borrow the original Japanese word. Hey, you guys up for some empty orchestra tonight? Huh? That's a mouthful. The blowfish, or fugu in Japan, is a highly poisonous fish that nonetheless is eaten as a delicacy. It's so dangerous, in fact, that Japanese chefs have to complete 11 years of training if they want to serve it in their restaurant. Yes, it takes perfect skill when the stakes are that high. On a lighter note, fugu literally means river pig in Japanese. Wow, that's unappetizing on so many levels. Saving face and avoiding embarrassment is very important there. I'd say in a lot of other places too. But here's the surprise. Getting caught in the rain without an umbrella is considered foolish. Don't worry though, there are countless convenience stores where you can pop in and get yourself an umbrella. If you're looking for a place to spend your golden years, you'll be in good company in Japan. About 23% of the population is over 65 years old. In fact, it's also the country with the most centenarians, as people who have celebrated their 100th birthday. Japan has 16 national holidays. There are so many crammed into late April and early May that this is referred to as Golden Week. One of those includes Greenery Day on May 4th, which celebrates nature. But there's also separate Marine Day in July, dedicated to the greatness of the ocean, and Mountain Day in August to commemorate, well, mountains. School plays a huge part in Japanese life. Lessons on being kind-hearted, studying hard, and feeling empathy would be a typical kindergartner school day. Even the right way to clean is taught. In most schools, students clean the classroom at the end of every day. Yeah, we didn't talk about sushi. Love it though, can't get enough. Maybe in an upcoming video. Leave me a comment if you agree. Hey, if you learned something new today, then give the video a like and share it with a friend. Here are some more cool videos I think you'll enjoy. Just click to the left or right. And remember, stay on the bright side of life.